Voyager 1 and 2 have been flying through space for nearly five decades, over 24 billion kilometers from Earth. But how are they still powered on? At that distance, sunlight is so weak that solar panels would be useless. So NASA used something smarter, radioisotope thermoelectric generators, basically nuclear batteries. Inside each radioisotope thermoelectric generator is plutonium-238, a radioactive material that gives off heat as it decays. That heat passes through special metal junctions, thermocouples, which convert the temperature difference into electricity. No moving parts, just pure science. When launched in 1977, each radioisotope thermoelectric generator produced about 470 watts of power. Today, they're down to around 250 watts, losing about 4 watts every year. Engineers keep turning off non-essential instruments to save every bit of energy. By the 2030s, their power will finally run out. But even when the radioisotope thermoelectric generators go dark, Voyager will keep sailing silently through interstellar space, humanity's oldest messenger among the stars. Please subscribe to Scientific Valley for more related videos.